Persevere. This is a cool jam, man. It's got that uh, grungy Alice in Chains type, uh, you know, the bendy, just grungy riffs, man. You know, it starts off uh, kind of like a Chains tune, you know. That's why I love it. I'm a huge Chains fan. <laughs> um, anyways, um, but yeah, this is a really fun one to sing. It's very, very melodic, and it's got it's just a good mid-range power for me to sing. You know, and it's it's fun to play live. We played this song live uh, a couple times. We've only played three shows so far, but it came across really well. And what's cool, yeah, you know, what's cool about this song is we we changed it up in the second verse. It's not the same as the first verse. So doing that change in the second verse really kept the song alive for me when I hit that point because we did have the first verse repeating the same in the second but we, we changed it along the way changed it in the studio and uh working with jay van puderoyan on the song he, he produced it and recorded it um we made some cool changes and it, it turned out really awesome and uh there's a really cool guitar solo in the middle of the song as well kai kai wrote the guitar solo it's really cool and then it goes into this whole melodic singing break um i just really like the mid section in the song as well you know, but it's just a, it's a fun grooving song. It's one of the more melodic songs on the album, but it's it's still you know I got fucking head bobber. Persevere. What can I say about this one? Uh, the beginning riff is just like I mean, great way to open a song, right? That's pretty pretty kick ass. So, uh, and then it goes into the the main verse riff, which is just like that's like a good chunky riff to play. It's just like uh, kind of that good kick to it you know it's like uh really 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 fun to play this song we got to um the second verse around when it kind of breaks down we got to have a little bit of fun with the effects on this one when we were recording which we didn't have a lot of time to record so we didn't get to have a lot of those fun effects times which was this was one of them which was like really turned out well and uh yeah i really really dig this song the Vocals are great, drums are kick ass, bass is good, and it's like good song. I just uh too bad it was last. We had to put one last and it was that one. <laughs> I love it though. Persevere. That's uh probably the most different tune that we have on the album, in my opinion. Uh you know, it's got some really slinky riffs, some awesome vocal lines, uh definitely some fun drumming. Uh, you know, I had a lot of fun coming up with a couple uh, drum parts within that song because uh, the thing that was different is it's a slower paced tune. So you really have to be careful not to overplay or do anything too complicated, but still be creative, right? So that song was a little bit of a challenge in the sense that I wanted to play for the song, yet at the same time, I wanted to come up with some interesting drum parts. Uh, one of my favorite parts of that entire song is the guitar solo that Kai does. It's It's incredible. It's just different, it's unique. That's why we got Kai in the band is because he's just got such a unique approach to guitar playing. And this is a perfect example of it when you listen to that guitar solo. John's vocals, as always, incredible. You know, uh, Beave had some really cool riffs that he came, came up with and contributed to this song as well. So, you know, just a, a real team effort and uh, a, a great tune. Again, this is a, another song where we really focused on writing the best song we could with that tempo, with that feel, and the mood that we came up with. And I thought it was a perfect way to end our album as well. Persevere. Um, I love the opening riff Beave came up with. Uh, it just sets the mood of the song instantly. Uh, the time we spent with our producer dialing in tones for the album can really be heard on those first few notes. Uh, and the midsection originally didn't have a solo. Uh, it was going to be a bridge. And I was trying to come up with a counter guitar part over Beave's uh, part. And I accidentally wrote a solo instead. Um, I'm not really one to jump on playing solos, but I don't know it seemed to uh, just work out for this section. Um, and yeah, this is one of the first songs I learned when I auditioned for the band. And when we jammed it at rehearsal, it just locked in. Uh, 
after jamming for about 30 minutes, I think, uh, the guys went and had a private meeting. And, I don't know, about 10 minutes later, they came out and asked if I'd join the band. Uh, so this song reminds me of my induction into a monolith. Persevere. If you're going through hell, keep going. I got that advice from someone way smarter than me in my life. If you're dealing with shit, just keep going. Just keep, put your head down, keep dealing with shit. It will get better. This has usually been the case for me in my life. Some things don't pan out, that's just the way it is. But if you don't, if you don't try, you'll never know. If, uh, if you're religious or so inclined, um, there's an old adage that you're never, you're never given any more hardship than you can actually endure. Um, for me, this has been the case in my life, and I'm very grateful. Um, that's not always the case for people, and it makes, it makes my heart go out to you. I'm very sorry. Um, but if you're just, if you're dealing with shit, go Go for it and don't let anybody tell you your dreams don't matter or you can't achieve them because they failed theirs. Um, go for it. Shoot for the fucking moon. Song starts out with this bendy, super groovy riff. It's one of my favorites on the album. It just sounds like a slinky. It sounds so fucking good. And then goes into this slamming Scotty and Anthrax verse. Um... Persevere is one of my favorite songs on the record. I really, uh, really enjoy bouncing around to this one. It's, uh, it gets people moving, and the message behind it is absolutely fucking incredible. I love it. Yeah. 